Welcome to the MTU Succeeding Together series. My name is Kira Glasheen Artem and I'm Conservatoire Coordinator at the MTU Cork School of Music. The MTU Cork School of Music is Ireland's largest conservatoire for music and drama. We provide a holistic music and drama education for more than 2,000 part-time conservatoire students and 450 undergraduate and master's students. The MTU Cork School of Music hosts approximately 400 concerts and performances and events each and every year. We really can't wait until we're able to welcome you back into our beautiful building. We hope that you'll join us then. I'm very excited to share two fantastic workshops with you tonight. First up, Rory is going to take us around the world and share some drumming traditions from Brazil, India and all the way back home to Ireland. Later on, once you're warmed up, lecturer Ashling Berngohan is going to take us through a really fun dance workout. But before we get started, I wanted to tell you about our competition. You could be in with the chance of winning a beautiful handmade Bauron and Tipper. Keep watching and I'll give you a bit more information later on. Without further ado, I'm going to hand over to Rory to take us drumming around the world. Hey everyone and thank you for joining me for this workshop today where together we're going to be going around the world to explore different music traditions, different percussion and drumming traditions from all around the world and to recreate some of those rhythms at home. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, I don't have any drums, I don't have any percussion instruments. Well, you don't need them. We are going to find and create percussion instruments from household objects. We're also going to be using our body to create different percussion rhythms and patterns. So before we do any of that, we wanna make sure first that we are warmed up in our body and in our brain. So we're gonna do a couple of exercises to get into the zone to make sure that we're really warmed up, ready to go with these different rhythms. I'm Rory, by the way, nice to meet you all. And I'm a percussionist and composer. So basically I get to spend all day, every day looking and learning about different music traditions and different drums and percussion instruments from all around the world. And I'm really looking forward to sharing some of those with you all today in this workshop. So let's jump straight in with our physical warm up. Are you ready? Steady, let's go. All right guys, so to get ourselves warmed up, we're gonna do a little bit of call and response. Now that is just me playing a pattern and you playing it back. So for example, if I go, your turn, you clap it back. Now we're gonna start with clapping, but then we're gonna stretch it a little bit more. We're gonna include some other body percussion as well. So make sure you have a little bit of space to move around. Make sure to listen really carefully to me and watch really carefully as well, because that will help listening and looking, yeah? So, you ready? Off we go. My turn is first. Your turn. Amazing! Well done guys! Did you get all of those? Now you're thinking, whoa, that was tricky. You can just rewind, go back to the beginning and try it again. See if you can catch each one of those different rhythms using hands, other parts of our body as well. So I think that we are ready to get going with music making on instruments now. So for this next activity, we're going to go from Ireland all the way to Brazil in South America. And we're gonna explore the rhythms of Samba music. Samba is about 100 years old and was formed by Afro-Brazilian communities in Rio de Janeiro in the 1920s. 
and it's known for its flamboyance and incredible joyous rhythms and dancing, colour, usually all culminating in the Rio Carnival, which takes place in February of each year. So for this activity, we're going to need to find some percussion instruments from within the household. So I've just sort of had a bit of a rummage around to see what I could find. And the first group of instruments that we need to find are the steady beat instruments. Steady beat instruments, instruments that are low, a bit fuller in sound. And these have a very important role in the samba band. We're going to be mimicking the sound of the surdo drum. And the surdo drum is like a big bass drum. And usually there are a handful of uh, surdo drum players to really create that heartbeat that underpins the samba. So I've had a little bit of a rummage around and I found a couple of things that I think will work really well. Surdo imitators, yeah? So this one is just a basket. A basket that I found, it's sort of uh, a little bit sort of oval. And what I've done is, the trick is to find a pillow and to put it on the pillow, rest it on the pillow, yeah? So that you can create a resonating chamber for your drum, yeah? So I've put it on a pillow, I've got a wooden spoon, and if I... If I play it like that, it sounds a little bit like a surdo, yeah? So that's the first little drum that I found. And then the next one, I just got a mixing bowl from my kitchen. <laughs> Plastic mixing bowl. <laughs> Don't want to hit it too hard because I need that to, you know, mix my salads and things. So I've got this, again, putting it on the pillow to create that resonating chamber underneath it, yeah? And again, just hitting it with my wooden spoon, kitchen wooden spoon, and I can actually get more of sound variation from this little bass in, can't I? When I play it on the side, and then on the top I get more of a higher pitched sound. So, that is our steady beat instrument. Next up, we need to find a shaking instrument. Now this one is really easy. I just had a rummage in my cupboard, found a, a tube or a jar of beans or breadcrumbs or something like that. Perfect, it's pretty easy, right? So you can find something, beans, seeds, put it in a little tub, and then the really important thing, if it's not a rolling jar, is to make sure that you seal the top, because when we get really high energy, I'm definitely gonna get a little bit carried away. <laughs> it's good to make sure that you seal the lid so it doesn't fly off. So, a little bit of tape. So with these shaking instruments, we're looking to imitate the ganza, which are like big shakers used in samba. Now I've got another type of shaker here. These are called kashishi. These are Brazilian as well, but not really used in samba so much, but used in a lot of other types of Brazilian folk music, like little woven baskets. So we have our shaking instrument, as long as it shakes, and it's safe, <laughs> you're good to go. Next up, we're gonna look for a scraping instrument, something that we can scrape. Yeah, this is one of my favorite sounds. And the instrument that we're trying to imitate here is the reco reco. And uh, this is used in samba. And uh, actually, one of the best things you can use for a reco reco imitating instrument is a little cheese grater. Now be careful, sometimes these can be quite sharp. So we don't want to be trying to use our fingers or nails on these. The best thing is to get a spoon, yeah? And just scrape along the grater really softly. See what happened there when I pushed a little bit too hard? It kind of sounded a little bit like a broken record or something. And actually that's not too dissimilar to the Reco Reco. You need to really play it quite softly to get that really nice kind of whoop. Yeah, so that is my scraping instrument. Now you can use springs, anything that you can find. I've got another sort of little coffee cup. It's a very soft scrape. I think this one's been scraped a little bit too much. 
And the next instrument that we want to find is the agogo. So agogos look like this. Cowbells, two cowbells, one big, one small. Sound like that. Now, big cowbell here. So these are really important part of the samba band. Now, I've just gone downstairs and I've got an old saucepan lid. It's even got a handle on it. How good is that? Let's see what it sounds like. Ah, that second bit, that sounded really good, didn't it? So sometimes when we're creating instruments, we have to play around, experiment, to find that sweet spot where we get that really nice, good sound. That sounds really like a cowbell. Let's see. Actually, it's the same pitch as this lower cowbell, isn't it? So, we ought to learn some rhythms for these new instruments, right? We'll start with the sordo. So get your steady beat instrument. Make sure it's nice and steady, set down in front of you. And as I said earlier, just a wooden spoon, something wooden, something relatively substantial, and just strike the middle of the instrument. Really connect to that beat. Now, a little challenge for you. Once that beat is going, you're gonna fill in the gaps with the free hand, just tapping. And in traditional samba, the sordo player is also using their free hand to dampen the drum. So the rhythm that we're gonna do is So you could go tea, coffee, tea, coffee, tea, coffee, tea, coffee. And that is it for this instrument, our steady beat instrument. It's almost like a heartbeat that just goes round and round and round, not changing, being really solid, yeah? So we're gonna try that with some music now, see if we can keep it in time all the way through. Are you ready? Good job guys! How did you find that pattern? You ready for the next challenge? We're gonna get our scraping instrument next. So we're gonna get our reco reco. And I've already showed you this rhythm earlier, but it's a really simple rhythm. We just gotta get that scrape first, followed by two taps. Tap, tap, scrape, tap, tap, scrape, tap, tap, scrape, tap, tap, scrape, tap, tap. And the idea with this scrape is that we're trying to get it to stretch as long as we can. So it's kind of a slow scrape, followed by two taps. Long, short, short, long, short, short. Yeah? So try that on your instruments now. We'll take it from the top. So we have our steady beat instrument, the surdo. We have our scraping instrument with the reco reco. Next up, we are gonna have a look at our shaking instrument. Now this one is my favorite and probably the easiest one. We've gotta set up our instrument. If we've got a jar, if we've got a cylinder, something like this, so that it's flat, we can imagine the breadcrumbs, <laughs> or seeds, or beans, or whatever it might be, pasta, 
resting at the bottom. We pivot from the elbow, we go back, forward. And when we move in this direction, we get a clearer sound, more articulation in the sound, as opposed to shaking it around and around, which is, you know, we wanted to mix it up <laughs> if we we're cooking. But for music, we want to try and get that really even stroke between forward and back. Now this one is just about keeping that really solid with the music. Should we try it? Now here's a little trick. We're going to double speed. Same thing, just double speed. And get ready to go back to half speed. Three, two, one, half speed. Now finally, we're going to move on to our next instrument, which is our agogos. Remember those cowbells that we had? And you remember my saucepan lid with the handle? <laughs> Made a really, really good uh, instrument to replicate that, yeah? So the rhythm that I'm going to get you guys to play for me goes like this. I am going for tea and coffee, and I am going for tea and coffee. I am going for tea and coffee, and I am going for tea and coffee. So by saying those words, I am going for tea and coffee, and I am going for tea and coffee, we can play that rhythm, yeah? So we try it together. Ready, steady, off we go. I am going for tea and coffee, and I am going for tea and coffee, and I am going for tea and coffee and so on. So, you ready to try this with me, with the music as well? job guys. Next we're going to bring it all together. You can pick whichever instruments that you want to play. If there's more than one of you playing you can get different rhythms happening at the same time on the different instruments. We're going to bring it all together now and have all of those different rhythms layered together. Okay, everybody, so for our next musical destination, we're going to be traveling all the way from Brazil across the ocean to India, and in particular the south of India, which is home to the Carnatic music tradition. And Carnatic music is particularly inspiring for percussionists and drummers because it has its own language, the language of conical, which uses syllables and sounds to create different rhythms. <laughs> Of course, within Carnatic music, there are drums and percussion instruments like the kanjira, the gatam, and the mridangam. But it all starts with this vocalization 
of rhythm, as I said, called conical. So I thought what we could do for this next part of the workshop is explore some of those rhythms from the Carnatic tradition using some syllables inspired by conical. Now the first sound that we're going to create sounds like this. Doom. It's a low, deep sound. Doom. Our second sound is tak. Tak is high pitched, yeah, and it's going up. It's going like from low to high. Tak, tak. So we have doom, tak, doom, tak, low, high, low, high. And the third sound that we're going to use is a group of sounds, and it goes takademi. Four syllables. Takademi. So we have doom, tak, doom, takademi. Takademi. Those are our three groups of sounds. Now I'm going to teach you a short pattern using these sounds. We're going to learn it first vocally and then we're going to add in some body percussion to bring it to life and then play it with some music. Okay, so the first part of this exercise goes Doom, tak, doom, takademi. Doom, tak, doom, takademi. You say it with me. Doom, tak, doom, takademi. Fantastic. So we have doom, tak, doom, takademi. So our first part, if you can lock that into your memory before we move on to the second part, which goes tak, doom, takademi, doom, tak, doom, takademi, doom. So can you do that with me? Tak, doom, takademi, doom. Then our third and final part, nice and easy, four takademis. Takademi, 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 takademi. That one's pretty easy, isn't it? Should we try it together? Takademi, 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 takademi. Very good. Well done, team. So all together, it will go. Doom, tak, doom, takademi, tak, doom, takademi, doom, takademi, 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 takademi. That's it, yeah? So we've got that going in our voice, and now we're going to add in some percussive sounds. So the first sound we're going to use is doom. We're going to do chest, yeah? Now I'm kind of hitting my shoulder, because I've got a little microphone here. Don't want to bash it. <laughs> so, chest. That's our doom sound. We're going to follow that with our tack sound, which is just going to be a clap. You don't have to go too big, just a nice little clap. So, doom. What about takademi? That's easy enough, isn't it? Takademi. Four syllables starting in the right hand. Takademi. So all together, our first part of that exercise would go doom, tak, doom, takademi. Second part of that exercise would go tak, doom, takademi, doom. Followed by the third part of that exercise, which would go takademi, takademi. So all together, the whole sequence will go doom, tak, doom, tak a dimmy, tak, doom, tak a dimmy, doom, tak a dimmy, tak a dimmy, tak a dimmy, tak a dimmy. So what I'd suggest is that you practice that a couple of times, away from the screen maybe, just getting into the feeling, the shape, and getting used to linking each sound with each action because what will happen is your brain will start to pair off oh when you say doom you mean that ah when you go takademi it will almost become automatic so once you've done that we're going to come back together and we're going to try with the music you've got to really keep that concentration after a couple of minutes it can get a little bit confusing so keep vocalizing keep working on getting those actions of body percussion in the right place off we go Fantastic! Well done everyone! So, now that we've explored a little bit of music from Karnataka in the south of India, we're going to go all the way across the ocean again back to 
Ireland for our third and final musical destination where we're going to explore the rhythms of traditional Irish music. Now of course the rhythms in traditional Irish music are often played by the baron. So what I thought we could do today is create our own baron. Well there's not much creation. <laughs> but we just grab a cardboard box. Yeah, fold in the wings at the top. One that fits nice and comfortably alongside the body, so it's too tall, yeah, and also fits really nicely on the knee. And all we need is our wooden spoon, yeah, our wooden spoon. And we're going to create uh, a barrel box at home to explore some of these traditional Irish rhythms. Now, the first rhythm that we're going to have a look at is a real rhythm, R E E L, a real. Now, real is probably one of the most popular traditional Irish dance patterns. And it has four steady beats that go round and round and round. So we can count the reel like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now on each one of those beats, each one of those four beats, we can add four more beats or four more sounds on each one of those beats. Now you might say, whoa, that's a lot of mathematics, isn't it? So let's use the word piccadilly. We could also use tacadini, our word from a conical exercise we did a couple of minutes ago. We'll use the word piccadilly, yeah, just to spice things up a little bit. And add a piccadilly on each one of those four beats. So it will go piccadilly, 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 piccadilly. Now that is our real pattern. Now you might say, whoa, 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 how are we going to play that on the baron? Well, on the baron, we will play it like this. playing with the barrel on. Now we're going to get that going on a box barrel on. So we've got to get positioned with our box barrel on. So start by making sure that the joint between the knee and the hip socket is nice and flat so the box can rest on it comfortably. We slide it in alongside the body supporting the drum with our elbow and this hand here goes inside the box and rests up against the skin of the drum or the inside of the box. So the drum is nice and supported. Now grab your wooden spoon. I'm using the same one that I used for the sordo exercise we did with the Brazilian samba earlier. And I just hold it like a pencil. I shimmy my hand back. So I'm holding it at the back end of the spoon. I point it in towards the heart, over towards the drum. And for the piccadilly, I just go down, up, down, up. And the way that I think of the strokes is starting at my chin and finishing at my belly button. Down, and of course, the downstroke goes back up the same way for the upstroke. Yeah, down, up, down, up. So piccadilly. We've got four of those piccadillys, haven't we? Piccadilly, 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 piccadilly. So that is our real pattern on the box baron. Now, for jigs, jigs are a little bit different. Our second pattern we're going to have a look at is the jig, another really popular traditional Irish pattern. This has six quick beats that go round and round. So six quick beats for the jig, four steady beats for the reel. So for the jig, we will go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we can sometimes describe the jig rhythm as being a compound time. So we can break it up into two groups of three. One, two, one, two. Because sometimes it can be quite tricky to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Sometimes you run out of, of energy pretty quickly whilst you're counting. But easier to count one, two, one, two, whilst still subdividing the beats into six quick beats all together. Now, on the barrel, grab your box barrel on. <laughs> We're going to break up these six quick beats. We're going to use the words galloping, galloping. So six syllables all together. Galloping, galloping. For the ga, we're going to do a downstroke. For le, upstroke. Ping is going to be another downstroke. So it'll go galloping, galloping. So you see between three and four, we have a double downstroke. Down, up, down, down. Sounds pretty cool. 
So this is one to practice at home your jig pattern as well and challenge for you. Once you finish this workshop, there's so much traditional Irish music out there to listen to. Listen out for reels and listen out for jigs and see if you can play along using your box bear on. So friends, we've made it to the end of this journey around the world to explore different music traditions and different rhythms. I hope you've had as much fun as I have and I hope to catch you all again in another workshop on another day. And until then, all the very best. Bye bye. I hope you're all warmed up after that. Thank you, Rory. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the competition to win a beautiful handmade baron and tipper. All you need to do is send us a video of you performing some of the rhythms from Rory's workshop. Or you can send us a video of you performing the dance workout from Ashling's workshop. You can email these videos to succeedingtogether at mtu.ie. That's succeedingtogether at mtu.ie. You'll need to send us those videos by Friday the 30th of April 2021 at 9 p.m. And our fantastic Succeeding Together team will select a winner. Okay, it's time to get you moving again. Next up, lecturer Ashling Byrne-Gohan is gonna take you through a fun dance workout routine. First, she'll bring you through the warm up, then the routine, and then a nice cool down to finish it off. Over to you, Ashling. Hi everybody, I'm Ashling Byrne-Gohan. I am dance and movement lecturer at MTU Cork School of Music. You are very welcome to our fun dance workout. Today we will do a warm up, followed by a breakdown to a dance routine, and then a cool down. What are we waiting for? Let's get started. Breathe in, take the hands up over your head. One more time. Take the feet out. You're going to go down into a bend. Taking the hands up to side stretch. Across the body to punch. Swing. Really get down into those knees. All again, four counts, three. Two counts. All the way around with those hands. Bend back in the legs, march them back in, march them back out. Feet apart. Good strong legs now, reach the hands out to the side, body weight forward. Start with our head. Look. Again, one, two, one. Last time on the head. Shoulders up and down. Individual shoulders, up. Other shoulders. Both together. Onto the hands, reach them out, in. Little 
little bit faster. Now both hands up, circle them around. Let them have a good swing down. Reverse the circle. Flex the wrist, stretch. Swing down. Hold them there. Reach the hands down. Now we're taking the arm right up, 12 o'clock, stretch up and reach over. Change to the other side. This time, a little bit further over. Good, again, bend the knees this time. All the way around, down to center, and just slowly back up. And this time we're going to go all the way around. Again. Good. Bend down to the knees. So we're going to take down. Two. Three. Four. Turn out. Reach the hands out. Two. Three. Back to center. Side, knee down. Two counts. One count. Two together. Bend knees. Clasp your hands. Test your balance. Release those heels. Lower down. Bring everything back together. Going to change. From foot to foot. Into a little run. And three little runs, bend your knees. One, two, three. Bend both knees, release your heels. Straighten your legs, lower down. Bend, you can place your hands here for balance. Three. And down. Again, bend, release, straighten, and lower. Rise up, reverse, bend. Heels down, straighten. Up. Good, bend in that knee, balance on one leg, flex the foot, in and change to the other leg. Repeat.
Good. Stretch that leg behind. Bend the front knee. Stretch that calf. Good. Change to the other leg. This time, trying to work the hamstrings. So you're going to bend the back leg, keep the front leg straight. You rest your hands on this knee. Try the other leg. Good, and then just for the quads, reach the hands out, test your balance, collect your leg. Now, you can keep your hand here or put it on your ear for balance, but if your balance is under control, hold on to your leg, your foot with both hands. Good. Change to the other leg. Good. Shake out the leg. Really shake out your leg. Shake out the hand. Shake out the other hand. Wrists. There we go. That's our warm up. Okay, so now we're going to move on to our dance routine. I'm going to break down the steps slowly and we will um, deliver this at two tempos. So the choice is yours. So let's get on with the movement first. And then once we learn the choreography, we can put then everything, um, work it with music. Right, so feet together. You're going to start with your right leg and you're going to tap it to the side, bring it back into the other leg. Tap the other foot to the other side, bring it back into join. Okay, now we're going to put hands with that. So clench your fists, punch together, punch together. Again, and punch together, punch together. Good. Now, taking that first leg, we're moving a little bit faster. One. Two, at three, and four. Okay, let's try that again. One, and two, and three, and four. One more time. One, and two, and three, and four. Good. Now, let's see, can we put hands to that? So, we have foot. One. When we move the other leg, we're going to introduce our hand. Two, three, the other hand, and then, and four, Slap those thighs. One more time. Two, three, and one. And two, and three, and four. Good. Let's see. Can we put all that together? Five, six, seven, punch. One, and two, three, and four. Five, and six, and seven, and eight. One more time. And one, and two, three, and four. Five, and six, and seven, and eight. Good. Now, taking that leg that is kind of peeled up behind, you're going to press it out in front of you, heel down, push it to the back, toe back, heel out again. Okay, good. But this time, when you're going to bring it out, you have heel, toe. When you bring it out this time, lift it up off the ground. And you're going to introduce your hand. It's like as if you have your watch on. What time is it? Okay, good. So we have one and two and three. Place that foot down, four. Have your hand ready. Good. One more time. Two, three, and heel. One, two, three, four. Now, you're going to roll both knees towards your TV screen. So a little bit of a roller coaster. Woo! There we go. Round again. 
Bring this arm on top, then bring both feet back together. Okay, one more time with that. And heel and toe, up, foot, roller coaster round, hand together. Good, so let's see, can we put those both pieces together? Let's have one and two, three and four, five and six and seven and eight. One and two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so let's try that with music. Are we ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Punch. Good. Let's try that one more time. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Super. Thank you. So moving on, our next section, our feature together, we're going to take, moving forward, side, close, side, together. Good, one more time, and side, close, side, together. Turn back on ourselves. One, two, three, four. Now, depending on what space you have, you can adapt that step, so you might take the four steps coming back. Okay, you might take your four steps on your spot. And if room allows you, you can move it into a good turn. So you decide what you're going to put in there. Ready? Two, three, side. Side, close, side, together. One, two, three, four. My foot has popped. I am ready to pedal out my feet. Again, and one, two, three, and four. One more time. One, two, three, and four. Now, I'm going to put arms with that. So I reach my arms up, I push them back down, I put them across, and I put them to my side. So with the feet, one, two, three, and four. Now, in the shape of a rainbow, I'm going to take my arms all the way around from right to left, and that's my opportunity that I get to wave to all my friends when I bring my hands around. Two, three, wave as you go. Fabulous. Right, let's try that again with the feet and hands. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, Eight. Let's take that section. And one, two, three, four. I turn on the spot. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Now we repeat the whole thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. Super, let's just try all of that section with our music. Are we ready? Five, six, seven, eight, one. We can march back on ourselves. And wave to your friends again. We can march around. And wave. To your friends. Great, thank you. So let's move on to the final section now. So we've done our wave to our friends here. We finished here. We're going to take a step to our right side and we're going to dig our right foot behind us. At the same time, we're bringing our hands across our body with our fists clenched. So we have one, boom, Two, three, four, the other side. Five, six, seven, eight. Again, two, three, going. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Super. Roll those hands forward. So our feet first are going to go forward together, back together. Again with the feet, forward together, back together. At the same time, roll my hands forward, reverse the roll back. Roll the arms forward, reverse the roll back. Roll, roll. Good, so take that jazz forth again. So we have punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Roll, roll. Jump your feet out to second. So they're going to go apart. Two feet, two hands. Bring everything together. And then two little jumps on the spot. And you're going to punch that right hand in the air. Punch, punch. Good, so from the roll forward, forward, back, out, in, here we go. Super. Let's try that section with our music. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Punch. Rolling forward. Out. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Punch. Rolling forward. Super. Okay, so let's try the whole routine with music. Tempo one. Are we ready? Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Wave to your friends. Punch. Okay, so now we're going to move on to tempo two. And remember, this routine can be done on repeat. So once you finish those jumps, you can keep going and repeat as many times as you like. Keep practicing. Thank you. Are we ready? Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Turn. And wait. Again, march, punch, and roll, again, here we go, Ready for those punches? Well done, everybody. Okay, well done. So now we're going to um, focus on our cool down. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. And let's take it down. Going to reach both hands up, bend your knees, relax the body down. Slowly rebuild. One more time, bend your knees, relax the body, relax your head.
ชกินมาท่านเนาะ b e n j a n e s go to the other side and bring yourself back up again The shoulder blades. Clasp the hands behind you. Shoulder blades together. Once more. Shoulders back. Back to go forward. Just let the head drop. Half a circle. Thank you so much to Ashling for that fantastic dance workout, and also thanks to Rory for bringing us to Brazil, India, and all the way back home to Ireland again. And thank you for watching tonight at home. Please check out mtu.ie/succeedingtogether for all future Succeeding Together series events. And don't forget about our competition to win that beautiful handmade baron and tipper by emailing us your videos to succeedingtogether at mtu.ie. Thanks, everyone. Take care and good night.